the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. As we unite ourselves in the offering of this Eucharist with Jesus with us, we strengthen our hope and our faith and our love with him and with one another. And we do apologize for the delay of this um, live streaming of the Mass due to the technical issues beyond our control, but here we go. My dear friends, on this 30th Sunday of Ordinary Time, in Ordinary Time, we are reminded once again that commandment of love which Jesus has given us. And this is the very life uh, of our Christian faith, the life that we live as in the foundation of God's love. My dear friends, let us now prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, asking the Lord for pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you were lifted up, lifted up to draw all people to yourself. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You shouldered the cross to bear our suffering and sinfulness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. For you opened for your people the way from death into life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God Amen. in the highest, and, and on, on earth, earth peace to people of good will. We, we praise you, we bless you, you we adore you, we glorify you, we, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord, Lord God, God let me begin. O oh God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, increase our faith, hope, and charity, and make us love what you command, so that we may merit what you promise. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. The Lord said to Moses, Tell the sons of Israel this, You must not molest the stranger or oppress him, for you have lived as strangers in the land of Egypt. You must not be harsh with the widow or the orphan. If you are harsh with them, they will surely cry out to me, and be sure I shall hear their cry. My anger will flare, and I shall kill you with the sword. Your own wives will be widows, your own children orphans. If you lend money to any of my people, to any poor man among you, you must not play the usurer with him. You must not demand interest from him. If you take another's cloak as a pledge, you must give it back to him before sunset. It is all the covering he has. It is the cloak he wraps his body in. What else would he sleep in? 
If he cries to me, I will listen, for I am full of pity. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I love you, Lord, my strength. I love you, Lord, my strength. I love you, Lord, my strength, my rock, my fortress, my saviour. My God is the rock where I take refuge, my shield, my mighty help, my stronghold. The Lord is worthy of all praise. When I call, I am saved from my foes. I love you, Lord, my Long life to the Lord, my rock. Praise be the God who saves me. He has given great victories to his king and shown his love for his anointed. I love you, Lord, my strength. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. You observe the sort of life we lived when we were with you, which was for your instruction, and you were led to become imitators of us and of the Lord. And it was with great, with the joy of the Holy Spirit that you took to the gospel in spite of the great opposition all round you. This has made you the great example to all believers in Macedonia and Achaia, since it was from you that the word of the Lord started to spread, and not only through Macedonia and Achaia, for the news of your faith in God has spread everywhere. We do not need to tell other people about it. Other people tell us how we started the work among you, how you broke with idolatry when you were converted to God and became servants of the real living God, and how you are now waiting for Jesus, his son, whom, whom he raised from the dead to come from heaven to save us from the retribution which is coming. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. All who love me will keep my words, and my Father will love them, and we will come to them. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When the Pharisees heard that Jesus had silenced the Sadducees, they got together and to disconcert him, one of them put a question. Master, which is the greatest commandment of the law? Jesus said, you must love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the greatest and the first commandment. The second resembles it. You must love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments hang the whole law and the prophets also. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The commandments of love that we've heard in the gospel today is the very life by which we live as Christians in the faith that we all receive. And if we are to speak about faith in action, we are also talking about love in action. 
because these two commandments are very synonymous with each other. If we claim that we do love God, then it is expressive in the way we relate to others. We express this love for others. Most particularly in what Jesus has identified himself throughout his life with the poor, the outcasts, etc., etc. More so, it brings about the challenge of going out of our comfort zone because human as we are, we have our own understanding of love. This kind of selective love, especially in terms of what we like. But Jesus' commandments of love invites us, challenges us to go out of this comfort zone and expand that love because God has shown us in Jesus how he expanded his love for everyone, especially for people who are difficult to love. And this is a challenge because one important aspect of love is forgiveness reaching out not only for healing relationship but for our own healing the healing of our own hearts and of our own peace my dear friends time and again we are reminded about God's love and the love that we ought to live if we are true to our faith and we put our faith in action then we are talking about putting love God's love in action in our lives and it takes about conversion total conversion of heart total healing of our own self from our bitterness from our anger from our own hatred to expand in our life the kind of love that God commanded us to do the kind of love that God has shown us which we are capable of doing and Jesus has shown us let us continue to live this commandment of love in our life because this is our identity. My dear friends, together let us now profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess my baptism for the forgiveness of sins and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, the life of the world to come. Amen.
My dear friends, the Lord is our fortress and our strength. Let us bring all our needs before the God who saves us. That the church's life and mission will be built on God's law of love. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. That nations and governments will act with the word of God in their heart. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. That our parish community will keep the word of God through love and compassion to our neighbours. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. That all those in lockdown, especially for all residents and staff in aged care, and for the families of those affected, particularly the Ashburton and Jordanville community, we pray for their safety. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. That those in the medical profession and essential workers working in difficult and uncertain circumstances, and to all medical researchers who are working towards a successful vaccine for COVID-19, will be granted courage and endurance. We pray especially for those assisting in the coronavirus outbreak. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. That neglected or abused children will be rescued by caring adults and raised in love. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick will, will find strength in the Lord, especially Robert Evans, Bernadette O'Connor, Michelle McMahon, Olga Tennyson, Grace Breslin, Sally White, Paul Paino, Desmond Livesley, Magdalene Paul Giot Lim, Mary Ann Rosso, Anne Paino, Arthur Gilbert, Sharon Goldsworthy, Roberta Burns, and those who have been affected by COVID-19, and also the sick members of St. Mary Magdalene Parish, Jordanville. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have died, especially Margaret Carey and Maria Barbagallo, and those whose anniversaries occur about this time, especially Habib Tureg and John Morton, will live with Christ forever. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us also ask our Blessed Mother to intercede for us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Loving God, you are our mighty strength. Hear our prayers and help us to remain steadfast in our love for you and others. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look, we pray, O Lord, on the offerings we make to your majesty, that whatever is done by us in your service may be directed above all to your glory, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly, truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you so loved the world that in your mercy you sent us the Redeemer to live like us in all things but sin, so that you might love in us what you loved in your Son, by whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours that by sinning we had lost in disobedience. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we do give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Son and the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Son in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy and you never cease to gather people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said a blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you with thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body 
one Spirit in Christ. May He make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Michael the Archangel, St. Mary Magdalene, St. Mary of the Cross, MacKillop, and with all the saints, on his constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Peter, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. Let us now pray with confidence to the Father and the words our Savior gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ has said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer one another the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should under my roof, but I will say the word in my soul. My soul shall be I invite you now to take this moment to pray the acts of spiritual communion and also for some moments of your own personal prayer.
let us pray. May your sacraments, O Lord, we pray, perfect in us what lies within them, that what we now celebrate in signs we may one day possess in truth through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you once again for participating and joining with us in our live streaming of our Eucharistic celebration. And thank you also for your patience as we have experienced some technical difficulties today beyond our control. But uh, thank God we've, um, we were able to resolve it. Hopefully it will continue soon. Join me once again for our live streaming of the Mass at 10 a.m. from Tuesdays to Friday and Sundays at 10 a.m. as well as we continue to be strengthened by God's love for all of us. And we also in our lives express that love by reaching out to others and strengthening our hope that we pray together that this pandemic will end soon and hopefully we will be permitted to gather again inside the church uh, in a safe manner as well for safety for everybody but we wait in, in hope and we pray together that we will be always be there and we will gather once again around the table of the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.